We'll get to that uh, in 703. All right. Um, hey, what's up? Um, I'm your host, Norris Dancer Ford, and we're with uh, Dope Men So, and we're with Stephen Miller. Uh, Steve Miller is a yeah. good fraternity brother of mine, good friend of mine, and uh, just overall good dude. So I'm going to let him finish introducing himself, say what's up, um, like where you from and all that good stuff. All right, how y'all doing? Steve Miller, um, as Norris said, attorney here. Um, been knowing Norris for a while now. We go back for a while. Um, had no clue that we were all into this sewing thing until a couple <laughs> years back. So it's going to be wait. interesting. I can't wait to get into very, it. Very we never We never chopped it up about it either. No, no. Um, let the, and um, I, honestly, <coughs> right before we was, you know what I'm saying, in pre-production or whatever, I was pretty much telling you, I was like, bro, I have no idea how you started any of this, <laughs> your story or none of that. Right, right. And, um... Yeah, so we're we, we, we going to get right into it, okay? Okay, let's do it. Let's do um, it. So, and let me first off, I say, like, I like what y'all are doing. Let me say I love what y'all are doing. This okay. Is, this is a great concept. Dope Men So, I didn't know this many brothers was out here sewing. Yeah. Like, I'm going to be completely real with you. Like, I had no idea. So, it's, this is real cool, man. I'm, I'm loving this. That's what's up, man. Yeah. Appreciate the I'm, love, bro. Yeah, I, I, I've enjoyed all the interviews so far. Okay. You know what I'm saying? They've been great, yeah. dog. Yeah, man, I'm glad, glad to have you be a part of it, man. Mm -hmm. uh, you came to the crib. Now, you know. Yeah, I am in the crib. Like, if, in the building. If I got somebody in the crib, <laughs> I know wifey got to really like them. You know what I'm saying? So, so uh, shout out to shout Steve. Shout out to Mimi. <laughs> yeah, man, he, he just like family, man. So, uh, he came to the crib just like John did. And, uh, yeah. So, the one I, I want to just start off with, first of all, you're an attorney. Right. Okay? Right. Um, and... You have no, like, yeah, like, you don't have no in, in, like inspiration to be in the fashion industry. No, not at all. Not at all, right? No. So it was interesting for me when I found out that you were sewing. Right. And it was like the weirdest way ever. Like, we was at an event, you came up to me, we were, my wife and I was in town, mm -hmm. and uh, you was like, you was like, hey, man. Hey, I had a question about the you was you was talking about a seam in the arm. Yeah, and he was yeah. like, "Yeah," I was, I was like, "What are you talking about, Steve?" I couldn't, I couldn't get my cuffs right. Yeah, because I I know fashion I was the last thing right. Steve asking me. You know what I'm saying, an attorney. Right. So um, I was like, "What is he talking about?" And then you was like, "The Sword Academy," and I was like, "Hold on, you in the Sword Academy?" Yeah. <laughs> he was like, "Yeah, yeah, man. I'm trying to tailor my own stuff, man. Right. Like, they trying to charge me arm and leg." <laughs> So I was like, I, I was like, it. oh my goodness. <laughs> so uh, I, I just thought that was pretty dope, man. Yeah. So, um, so how, like, like what made you do that initial? initial. Because like sewing is, I, I'm not saying sewing is, is hard to get into, mm -hmm. but it's not like just going to like, just going to the store and picking something up. So like, how did I get into yeah, sewing? Yeah, so, so like, my, how, how did you get into sewing? My story is, it, it kind of came from childhood, right? Really? So my grandma sewed, my mom sewed, and I was always that kid that was like, I'll just figure it out myself, right? Okay. So even as a kid, this might be the long winded. Tell me if I'm no, talking No, no, talk, much. man, we got like, time, bro. Look, look you know, I'm, I'm <laughs> yeah, an attorney, they say we talk a lot. <laughs> so just, you know, tap your head, pull it ear something. But um, now, nah, so my grandma, I remember when we would go to Ohio, we would knit all the time. I enjoy knitting. Okay. And so, like, I'll meet you. I'll like meet some you sweaters and stuff? No, nah, bro. Like, what you get? What you do? Like a, like like a beanie? Day, uh, no, I'm not even doing that. A sock? Like, like what a, you... uh, what do you call them? The dish rag. Dish rag. Oh. Dish rag. Dish towels. Like a little like mitt. Like, yeah, it's, it's like, like a little hot like, stuff. I meant to bring some, too, for you. Oh. But I got, I got the, the yeah, I got the little, the dish rags and stuff like that. So, oh, I would, okay. I would knit those and, um, as even like growing up even more than that, like my mom would have me doing like to uh, threading her needles for her because her eyes, she oh, couldn't really see it. Oh, okay. And so she'd be like, Steve, come downstairs. And then I'll come downstairs and I'll thread it. Uh, every now and then she would, you know, let me work the machine oh, or for whatever. Real? Yeah, and this is at like, what, elementary school? You know what I'm saying? Like, Dang. that's how young I was, like, actually playing around with the machine. Just use it, just expo exposed to it. Yeah, just being exposed to it, being around it. And then my mom was, like, master sewer. Like, for real? yeah, like, she does everything. So, like, all our costumes for Halloween. Oh, my goodness. Custom made Gloria Miller, you know? 
Uh, all of our like costumes that say we were in a play or something like that. Yeah. Custom made. She's going to do that. So we always had some fire like costumes oh or whatever. Most of my mom got was busy. Just, yeah, she got busy. Easter dresses for my little sister. Wow. Oh, my mom. Right. And so then um, it went from that to like she would do quilts like so for my senior gift from her. Okay. Is a uh, she made this quilt for me. Okay. It's fire. I, I took it to school. You might not have seen it. I, I, no reason for you to be in my bedroom. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> but I had a. It was a quilt, and so it's like I had everybody that saw it would be like, "Man, this is a fire quilt. Where yeah. did you get it?" It's like my mom did. So it, it's all the shirts I wore in high school. Yeah. So she would just cut them up. So it's like they're like, "How do you have a bedspread that's full of polo nautica?" <laughs> Tommy, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Soccer jerseys, yeah. all of that in the one. And so, like, just being exposed to her, having her doing all that. Oh, wow. Um, that's how I got to it. And so then, from then on, um, I would just play around with it every now and then. Like, okay. Uh, in Boy Scouts, she was one of the true leaders. She taught us how to sew buttons. Oh, wow. And so, like... Like hand stitching? Like hand stitching. Okay. So, we're doing our hand stitching. And then... Um, it got to the point, like once I graduated, I'd say I left it alone for a while. You graduated high school? <clears throat> no, this is college. Okay. I left it alone also, for a also, while. So I don't want to cut y'all, but, but through college, you was you was sewing? No, not not so much. Like maybe here and there. I was in college it was more hand stitching. Oh. So dang. if something messed up, I might fix it, fix it, or I might hem something real quick if I needed it hemmed. A little blind hem. Oh dang! Yeah, but okay. that that was the extent of it. It wasn't a lot. I wasn't really with the machine. Oh okay. Um, the machine work came probably after law school. So I say I graduated law school about 2012, 2013. Yeah. And you remember back in the day, everybody was wearing their clothes baggy. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I look at old pictures of us and we got all our stuff. You're like baggy. We drowning in our Yeah, clothes. we were drowning in them. <laughs> you tall tees and everything. Yeah. And then it got to a point and where everybody slimmed up. Yeah, everybody wanted <laughs> we had stuff to get laced up. <laughs> and so I would say about 2008, 2009, it was more of like a modern cut. It uh -huh. wasn't that real skinny fit that you see now. It was like yeah. that modern cut. And like so, a regular fit. Yeah, like a lot of the stuff that I had. I was in law school, like, I ain't got money like that, yeah, right? Yeah. And um, I like to look good. <laughs> right. <laughs> so how are we going to do that? Right. So how are we going to make <laughs> How are we going to make that happen? And so, like, that's when, like, I got a, uh, my mom, I asked her for it. I was like, let me get a uh, sewing machine for Christmas. What do you want for Christmas? Let me get a sewing, sewing machine. machine. Oh. She got me the sewing machine. Oh, wow. And then, like, from then, just start. You just hooked it up? Yeah. Getting back at it. Oh, wow. Getting back at it. Hey man, that's what's that's up. That's how it happened. And um, so, so up until then, you know, have you like made anything? I haven't on, on the actual machine. Or, like, have no. you customized anything or altered no. shirts or whatever? So my experience with sewing is more um, altering and getting okay. my stuff slimmer. So like going like, to the tailor, like taking this stuff to the tailor and my own stuff. Perfect. And but the perfect example is like. So, even when I was, after I graduated law school, I got all these, uh, like, dress shirts or mm -hmm. whatever, right? Yeah. And I'm a weird fit, right? <laughs> gotcha. Because if I'm not working out, I'm a medium, <laughs> gotcha. right? But if I'm working out, I'm a large. <laughs> and then sometimes it's kind of in between times. And gotcha. so, it was like, I would have to buy larges and then stop wearing them and yeah then and then you jump into your up. medium or if i got the medium on i can't rock it for too long you know what i mean so yeah. it's like i had to start altering my own stuff to make it fit for me gotcha and just doing that like even with the dress shirts like i'm a i'm a very i wouldn't say cheap i'm a very frugal frugal, <laughs> frugal. that's a good word yeah i'm a frugal <laughs> individual yeah Johnny's that same John, yeah, you, John, he said that frugal. Same thing. that's yeah. a uh, you know shout uh -huh. out to uh john milan i want to still see my money sometime <laughs> <laughs> shout out house <laughs> milan but uh yeah so i would buy like even a dress shirt and you know a good dress shirt might cost you about 50 to 70 yeah dollars something man. like that but to have a tailored it's like another $45. And I'm like, I'm not paying 
over a hundred dollars for a shirt. Right. Like I just refuse to do that. Right. So I learned how to tailor Not it myself. Clothes. And that's when I hollered at you because I couldn't get that. <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't get that. Uh, I couldn't that get cuff? that cuff right. The cuff situation. I get that. This would look good, and then the cuff would just be. A little bit too big? Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. And we'll get you right, bro. Yeah. We good oh. now. <laughs> we good now? All <laughs> good right. Now. <laughs> man, that, that's so interesting, man, because um, a lot of the people that I've had on the show mm -hmm. was, like, into the fashion world in, 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 in some degree, you right. know what I'm saying, or, right. like, have a lot of interest in fashion. Yeah. Um, so, like, when, when you came up to me with that and you was telling me about it, I'm like, man, so sewing ain't just for the, the people that's in the industry. It's yeah. really for like anybody that want to use it for, you know what I'm saying, on, for a number of reasons, like right. alterations. Yeah. And w one important point I want to point out when it comes to uh, like going to the tailor or or someone with that tailoring skill, like that's a whole nother uh, type of skill that uh, a lot of people don't really realize how much work just goes into that. Mm -hmm. Cause, like if you have a jacket or you have a nice pair of slacks, it, being able to open it up and fix it, alter it, put it back together right, and make right. it look like nothing happened to it. It just looks like a, 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 a good fit. That's a lot. That's a lot, man. That's so lot. I want to commend you, bro. That is a like, lot. Congratulations, yeah. man. Like, I hate tailoring. Oh, really? Like, for me, I'd rather start it from start to finish. <laughs> uh -huh. I'd rather take fabric, cut it up, sew it, and all that before I alter something. But you're the creative type. Yeah, I am. I'm a, I'm a mend it. Yeah. <laughs> put a Band-Aid over like, it. I, I'm the guy that will probably just take it, you know what I'm saying, yeah. to the tailor. But um, but shout out to Miss B, that's my tailor now. Oh okay. <laughs> so um, like, so in, in this sewing journey, mm -hmm. um, like how did you find like resources? Resources as like far as, as far as like teaching you like anything, because I know you pretty much self taught. Yeah, so self taught. Um, did the uh, class for a little while. Um, I'll be honest, y'all would take too long. <laughs> it was like one class every month. I was yeah. like, man. Yeah, we 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 we, we, we done updated a lot a lot more since then, bro. Yeah, so yeah, um, yeah. like stuff like that, but a lot of it came from YouTube. Okay, and just watching. So like in the beginning, it was like dress shirts. Um, you remember we had those fat ties. Everybody mm -hmm. was rocking them fat ties. Yeah. And then the ties got, got slimmer. skinny. Yeah. They got slimmer. And then you got a whole bunch of fat I ties. I got a whole bunch of fat <laughs> ties. I need something to do with these. And so I'll go to YouTube. Um, I found a couple of videos on how to do those. That's what's up. And so I, I got a, a gang of slim ties that were once fat. Got you. You know what I mean? Just, just off, you know what I'm saying, getting busy with the machine. Right. Just getting busy with it. And then, I mean, like, most of the time when I'm doing my alterations is it's more i kind of i kind of eyeball my work oh okay. a lot of time gotcha. so i've in the beginning i used to use like a pencil and i'll go <laughs> by and do all that but now and people don't try to sit home now <laughs> but now, go ahead yeah now i just eyeball my work and i'll it it comes out right okay you know what i mean all right well you good yeah. then yeah, right. like, it, it, it works that's what's it up works. man that's mm -hmm. what's up bro so um like so like you, you you take time out for like on like on a weekend or like the kickback or is it like more of like relaxing time? Yeah, it's or you just do it just to you know get it done. It's gonna be relaxing time. I don't have anything to do. Um, excuse me. It's gonna be like, and it's when I can get a weekend. Gotcha. You know, cause weekends. Yeah. You know, I got a son. Like yeah. weekends are hectic. Yeah. Anyway, they come and go. Yeah, they come and go. But it's like when I could get some time, or um, if I'm at nighttime, if I can get some time, um, just whenever I can get it in is when I do it. But it's usually when I got like a project or something coming up, or if I get something real fresh and I'm like, all right, I need to make such such kind of changes to it or whatever. Yeah. Like when COVID first started, and you know everybody's in their house. Yeah. It's like I got to. I gotta do something. Yeah. And so, you know, me and my girl, we just went through the closet and I was just pulling out pants. Like, oh. what can I do with these? Take them up or give them the goodwill. And then it's just going through all that stuff. And Dang, then. Hey, so you just doing your whole closet. Yeah, just find time to do it. And I'll be honest, some a lot of that stuff I'm probably not gonna wear. Yeah. <laughs> Gotcha. But it's just the fact that I got it in there that I could wear it. Yeah, and you could alter it. Right. On your own. On my own. And I, I I like seeing what it used to be. 
and then coming back to it and seeing that finished project. Yeah. And just being like, that I before did before and that. after. Yeah, I like, yeah. I like that. And sometimes like it, that. It, it, it'll amaze you, man. Oh, yeah. It's, uh, even alterations. You have mm-hmm. something that's super big or wild or goofy or whatever it is, mm-hmm. and you slim it up, and it kind of like bring a little oh, bit more life to it, it. It brings it to all, all the way together. And, you know, I'll do some things like uh, I saw John with go to like Goodwill uh-huh. and he'll bring some stuff up. He stole that from me. <laughs> oh, yeah. Real talk. <laughs> you claiming it, John. You heal? Uh, he took that idea from me. I just didn't post it on social media like that. So I'm letting but you said it on social media right now. <laughs> but in 2020, I want y'all to know that that was really me <laughs> that was doing that. But so, yeah, I Goodwill every now and then um, and just try to find some dumpster finds and then yeah. alter them up, make it look good. That's what's up, man. Like it, it, it blows my mind to for you to even be around to be exposed to that mm-hmm. like almost your whole life. You know, what I'm saying growing up and seeing that. For me, I didn't grow up seeing it. Right. So like, um, I would like before I before I started sewing, I was I was taking stuff from like Goodwill, my old clothes, and I would have to spend money to the tailor because I didn't even think about doing it myself. Right. Right. And um, I w- I used to tell them to read like redesign like different shapes and stuff like some of my vests. Mm-hmm. And do a whole bunch of like complete change, change the lining out of all the jackets, even all that stuff. Yeah. But I didn't know how to do it myself. And I thought it took an expert like a tailor for like 30, 40 years to just master this thing. And right. and that's why I just never really, you know, thought about it. But when I met my wife and I saw her like taking fabric mm-hmm. and then making this three dimensional thing, like and and, and, it, and it be fresh. Right. And I was like, man, like she really she killing it. Yeah. So um so and 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 when I saw that I was like man, and then I, over that first year I was like man like baby I'll, like teach me how to teach me how to do something mm-hmm. <laughs> something you know what yeah. I'm saying so I I just I just think that's so fascinating man that you've been around it for like your whole life it always was an option that you could do it yourself right you know right. and just and just having that option like some some guys out there even if you don't have time if you ain't into fashion just knowing how to do it. Save you a lot of money. Save you a lot of money, <laughs> but also money. it'll give you an option. Okay, mm-hmm. I'm gonna still take it to the tailor, even though I know how to do this. You know, then you'll just feel bad. The next right. time you might do it. So it's just one of those things, man. Yeah. That it's, it's very beneficial. I think women find it sexy yeah. if you sew so as a man. So, point, so y'all heard my wife. Best, <laughs> my wife. Point of that. <laughs> bouncing off of that, like I've had like people that I've dated that have been like, I got this dress. It used to fit this way. Can you slim it up? Oh, like let's this? go, Steve. You know what I'm saying? So I, I done made, go. you know what I'm saying? Some alterations on some yeah. female clothes. And then go out. And just did you like, pin it on her? Yeah, I did that. <laughs> I eyeballed my work. Man, I told you this, bro. <laughs> I eyeballed my work. And so, like, yeah, they, the ladies love it. The yeah, love it. yeah. I got, my girl got a, she got a dress now that, uh, it's kind of cut some type of way. She was like, I want some little, my shoulders out with it. I'm like, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Let me eyeball can, it. Yeah, we can do this. We can do that. I'm probably going to eyeball that. Yeah, we might uh, take the pencil to it. Oh, okay. But yeah, the ladies love it. That's what's they do. up, man. Good, good point. They do. That's what's up. That's yeah. that's an uh, interesting concept, too. Using yeah. it as a, as a dating tool. And the day is like, you know what I could do to that dress? <laughs> Might as well. Be out shopping. She says she right. don't fit. Like, no, you don't know what I can do to hey. it. They get it, run it. It can fit. Can <laughs> it can it fit. fit. We can make it fit. We can make it fit. <laughs> That's what's up, man. <laughs> so, um, so, um, because because someone was so was, was pretty well, he just gave you another option. Right. It was important. Gave you right. another option. Mm-hmm. So, like, does that reflect? out to like your professional career you know what i'm saying like the way you dress because mm-hmm. um um e- even sewing you know what i'm saying is it's one challenge but also putting it together as far as menswear and men's fashion right you know what i'm saying like you had to have that other you know what i'm saying to piece, piece it together so mm-hmm. being able to you know what I'm saying tell your own clothes and look a certain way you know what i'm saying for for work has that you know what i'm saying changed with, with just knowing that that, t- that type of skill that type of skill Slightly, I'll, I'll be honest. When I when I look for um, like my suit fits and my fashion as far as the courtroom goes, when I have to dress up, yeah, um, I'm looking at blogs. I'm looking at 
um, I used to be an Esquire. A lot of people were GQ. Yeah, I was. Yeah, I was, oh, no, Esquire, Esquire, Esquire. 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 <laughs> I did escort I like, for a while. <laughs> no, but no, I I look I was more of an Esquire fan, so okay. I, would, I would read my Esquire and I would see how how everybody's rocking their suits and stuff yeah. like that. And gotcha. So then I would probably try to tailor it like that. I'll see what you got or yeah. uh, what was your boy Thrash. Thrash. Yeah, yeah. I'll see what, how y'all working with things, and then I'll make sure I'm getting compliments when I work. Walk okay. The metal detectives. Oh, okay. So, yeah. so you do? Like they, they be knowing? They, they, they recognize gang. They be knowing. Right. All right. <laughs> Let me stop playing. <laughs> I'm humble. That's what's up, man. And, 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 and most of it is, is your, your tailoring, your alterations. So, with the suits, I leave that up to Miss B. When it comes to the shirts, it comes to the ties, accessories, and everything like that. Gotcha. Yeah, because the suits ain't cheap. Right. So, and you messing that up. Yeah, and I'm not trying yeah. to look. My shirts, they look good on the outside, but if you would have flipped oh. them <laughs> if you would have flipped the that shirt on the inside, crazy. you'd be like, What? So even even the ties, like they look good here. <laughs> they look real good, but you flip that tie, that tie might turn the wrong way if I sit down the wrong way. Get you a tie bar so I don't yeah. go nowhere. Yeah, and that's what that, I gotta keep the tie bar because yeah. it, it's Frankenstein. Keep it on your shirt. Yeah, it's it's straight Frankenstein on the underneath. Yeah, that's what's yeah. up, man. Uh, man, man, I, I I appreciate you. You know, what I'm saying coming through, bro. Yeah, that's a that's an interesting story. Um, what do you sew on? What? What do you sew on? What's your machine? What is that machine? Y'all asked me that at the wedding. Did we? Did we? You did, and I was. That like, might be an answer question we'll ask. What kind of machine is it? <laughs> okay. It's white. <laughs> <laughs> I want to say it's an Emerson or something like that. It ain't no. Good. You know what it is, baby? No. It ain't no. Emerson. Nah, it ain't no Emerson. She don't know what it is. I don't know. I don't think it's a machine. I'm gonna have to. I'll, that, you might know your, that might be a. That might be a razor. That's gonna be the follow. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't your soul. This might be a razor or something. <laughs> it's that. It's a Gillette. <laughs> like that <laughs> y'all did ask me that before and i was like i need to find out what, find out what machine, machine you are i'm on i don't know i have no clue but it was just one my mom just here this is a good machine uh she tried to take it from me the other day for real yeah. she needed it she was like your tension a little better than mine i was like <laughs> so so your mom still still crazy she's she still, still making. Doing it like when the uh the pandemic happened yeah um she was the first person I knew that was making masks. Oh. And she had on, she had the whole church on lock. Oh, like, wow. The whole choir, everybody. That's what's up. She had, yeah, all of those, her and my son, they uh, they made like a little business out of it. Oh, wow. Where, your brother so too? No, my son. Oh, oh, your son so too? No, nah, he don't say that. So, oh, he just be. Yeah, so like my mom would make the mask and then he would, he would trap them. Oh, okay. <laughs> Go gotcha. around and sell them or whatever. Oh, okay. But yeah, like she still she still does her thing. That's what's up, man. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to my dudes, man. So you ever um, have to hit her up for like some kind of like tip? Some advice or like a yeah. little technique or all, something? All the time. What was the last thing you all the time. What last thing she helped you with? What was the last thing? It was what was it? I'm trying to think. So alterations or something? Her. It was something with the alteration. I don't remember. It might have been this this cuff. <laughs> oh, that for real? And I think she was the one that was like, "You're gonna have to take it apart." And I was like, "Yeah, I ain't trying to do that. I ain't got that kind of time." But she was like, "Yeah, you gotta have to take it apart." So yeah, it was probably that cuff. That's what's up, man. It's it's so it's so it's just so good to reach out to somebody, especially mm -hmm. when you start learning. Mm -hmm. Like if I ain't had my wife, like I don't know, I don't know how fast I could have picked it up because. Yeah. It, it, I was asking a million questions like every second. I'm like, mm -hmm. oh, how you do this? How you do this? How you do this? And then I see something and I be want to make it. I'm like, baby, how you think I can make it? Yeah. And then she's you have to learn how to do this and learn how to do that. So How did she get you to even get on the machine in the first place? Or was it you? Like, it yeah. Oh, it was you like, yeah. I want to, I want to, I yeah. want to do this. Yeah, because I, I was already kind of like in like the, like the styling, right. styling world, me and Thrash and all that. We had our fashion blog, but I was never in the, in the, in the industry part of you know what I'm saying sewing or being a home sewer or any of that right right so once I saw that it, it just you know so I was so drawn to it and I was I was eager to learn and mm -hmm. I was I was there I was focused I was going slow mm -hmm. I, was, I was asking her oh say that again oh okay do it like this and then once I started learning you know I, you know, I just wanted to start learning more and more mm -hmm. and every time I sold I made sure it was something I never done right you know so oh, let me make a jacket 
Oh, let me make this. Oh, let me, oh this guy Wilson never done Wilson. Let me do that. Oh, I never learned how to match plaid yet. Maybe like how how should I how should I do it? Mm-hmm. So like it, like everything, and then like over a while, your first four, couple of projects, you learn other techniques that goes into other uh, pieces. Mm-hmm. So so yeah, man, it, it was it's just such a big help. So I can only imagine what it's like just for the average guy that wants to do any of what we're talking about. Right. Like what are, what are the resources? You know right. what I'm saying? Like do you do you shop at like some of the places like you go get fabric? So I go to Michaels for the most part. Um because I I'm not the creative one. Yeah. I don't really deal with fabrics. Yeah. I'm too tough. Oh okay, yeah, that's um, right. I got like <clears throat> the last time I went shopping for fabrics was probably um when I bought my house. Okay. And I was just looking for um, some curtains okay. and some pillows. Oh, okay. Because I couldn't find either one <laughs> yeah, your, that I liked. Your first way. Right. I couldn't <laughs> gotcha. find it. And so, like, that was probably the last time. So you made them? Um, nah. <laughs> you, you, my uh, windows are still bare. Oh, okay. My, gotcha. pillows, my pillows are straight, though. Oh, okay. My pillows are straight. But, uh couldn't find the curtains. I'm still looking for curtains. If anybody has any ideas <laughs> where I can... Oh, wifey. Get some You know she's like a low-key interior decorator now. Oh, I see. You I, see look, the crib I see now. The crib. I see the crib. I see it. Yeah, ask her what you what, what you need. Yeah. Send her a picture and she'll yeah. have 10 we'll, options for you. We're going to talk offline. <laughs> yeah. We'll handle that. <laughs> so, yeah, like that was probably the last time I ever like went actually searching for fabric. Yeah, and we were at like was it Joanne's? Yeah, Joanne's fabric. Yeah, we were yeah. at Joanne's for that. But you have to get thread, the threads and stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. That's what's up, man. Um, yeah. Do, do you see like many guys out shopping? Like when, when you I was out, there. Like when you like when you have so, to go pick up little. First off, stuff? it was me and my Dukes <laughs> at the fabric store. Gotcha. Um, and your mom trying to pick up pick up something for something huh? yeah she's she's looking for something i'm looking for something and i think everyone was like her age and they were all women like it was there was Dang. no young people at the fabric store at all Dang. searching for anything that's crazy not working there anything it was just all older women wow um yeah that was it yeah because like, i don't so I, I've I've had like clients where um, like I've had to go to their house and I find out they sew. I'm yeah. like, oh, you sew, and you know we'll have a conversation oh, about okay. it. But they're always female. They're always ladies. Yeah. Never any guys that, you know. Yeah. So I mean that that's why it's so important. You know what I'm saying for for us to be doing this. Right. Right. And um, cause is 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 there are men that sew. I mean they're not as as not as much as women, but there's a lot out there. And we don't we don't know who is who like mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying like unless you just know someone like personal page or or know what they do for their hobbies or whatever or see them post it because so a lot of guys don't even post it you know right. what I'm saying like you right. don't even have no, that you go your page you like okay he's an attorney you don't know you don't even know he's so you know so right. I, I just right. think I just think it's dope for us to have and grow a community. You know what I'm saying? For guys to just be aware, you know what I'm saying? The other guys do it. Mm-hmm. And to see what we're doing. And if you like it or interested, you can learn how to do it. Right. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, it's. I would say in this whole, in the genre as a whole, like even, I, was, I lived in Birmingham for three years. And like on Saturdays, every now and then, I would go to this little, uh, this little knitting class. Oh, okay. And it would just be me and a bunch of old white women <laughs> and they're knitting and they they tell me about all their grandkids. And <laughs> Dang. <laughs> yeah, that was it. Yeah, like, bro. that was it. And it, it would be no one else there but me, but yeah, I enjoyed kicking it with them. Yeah. It was cool. And, I, and then more than that, I enjoyed knitting. I enjoyed creating with my hands. Right. Like, it was, it was kind of peaceful. And then when you were in that that feel like law school is is hell man it's cutthroat and everything else so yeah. like to go to these classes on saturday and kick it with these women it was cool just a little kickback yeah that's what's up man kind of didn't want a lot of guys to find out about <laughs> it man like <laughs> keep I <don't> it, <laughs> keeping me in the keep it, it low key yeah me and the ladies yeah got you man that's what's up you want to um you want to start with with some questions now baby how yeah. many how many we I have to give you some questions What's up? You got, you got Earl on here acting a fool. Young Earl? Earl? <laughs> what Earl talking about? Where, 
Bro well, is a mess. Oh. <laughs> Girl said he had his jeans tailored and now the pockets are touching. <laughs> Did he do it? Yeah, cause Earl no, lost all that oh, weight. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Earl lost all that weight. <laughs> collapsed on. Earl, just uh, to take it to a. I mean, go like jeans. Jeans are hard to take too. You really can't get them exactly, they especially are. Those, to, especially to him. Those are. The, I stay away from the jeans. Yeah. Not only that, but I done broke some needles. <laughs> oh, yeah. So you got to to tailor some jeans. You begin the right needles. I'm not getting the right needles. Oh, anymore. okay. You got to switch up your needles so. to different fabrics. Look. I got you, bro. We gonna you get got, you right. Off my get me, cause yeah. look, I, I that, was I had a couple pair of jeans that I was trying to tailor, and like needles just boom breaking and breaking, breaking like crazy. Yeah. I have a question for you, Okay, baby. Uh, says um, S. Bernard says I'm a real visual learner and need okay. to understand every step. Does your uh, school take its time with the lesson and cover every inch of the sewing lesson? Zippers, pockets, buttons. I'm gonna let you answer that. It does. It's very, very detailed. Um, Mimi takes her time with it and really, really breaks it down to the the bare minimum. You'll you can go from not knowing anything to knowing everything from watching that class, yeah. especially if you're a beginner, especially. And you got a year. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, There's now. Eight courses on it. So oh really? Yeah. Oh, so like, wow. it, it evolved to a whole thing now. So um, so now when they sign up, it's kind of like Netflix. You have access mm. to, to everything. Oh okay. And okay. you still have, we still new drop a new course. Everything. You know, new courses every month. Mm-hmm. And then we also have like a whole um, technique category. Yeah. You, like let's say, you don't you don't need to see a whole project or a whole lesson. You just forgot how to put in an invisible zipper, mm-hmm. or forgot how to do a certain welt. You can go to techniques and go to welts, and you, you, you'll find out what find you need. That. Click on it and it'll show you exactly how to do it. It's like like fifty seconds or two mm-hmm. minutes or something like that. That's perfect. Yeah. So, so like back it, in the day, <laughs> you was, was like for the lunch. <laughs> was it like twelve or fifteen? Man, I guess that when it first there. started. Maybe. And yeah. I want to say it was like one every month, and you had to get past that first one to get to it. Yeah. But yeah, now y'all y'all doing y'all thing. Yeah, man. man. Yeah, man. So he said thank you, and his name is also Steven, so he believes you. Boom. That's what's up. That's what's you, up. You see? And you, and you know it's real because he said Steven, not right. Steve. Right. Um, Julian asked, will y'all be doing a pant sloper like the men's shirt sloper that you did? We do have a, we don't have, have a, a men's sloper? Oh, yeah, sure. Let's do it. Sloper. Let's do it. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, we can definitely do that. Yeah, I'm getting ideas. Absolutely, yeah. Like, like, what, like, especially if it's, it's something that people want to learn, I can mm-hmm. definitely add it to the classes. Are y'all still doing the patterns? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Really? Mm-hmm. Have you sewn the pattern yet? I haven't. I haven't. I need. See, I think you'll like it. You Bruh. think so? Yeah. Oh, you can give him one of yours. <laughs> I, I, I give him some. I, I give you Not the this one. The, the raglan, <laughs> the raglan t-shirt. Uh, this is what I do. I, I'm gonna take the pattern and then. I'm gonna make something from it. Yeah. And I'm I think we got some. Y'all know. I think we should have some in here, yeah. man. Cause yeah, no, I've never, I've never used a pattern. I've never. I used to go through the patterns with my mom. Yeah. Um, back in the day when she was going through the patterns, but uh, me actually creating and using the pattern to create something. But then again, there weren't no dope patterns like that. Exactly. Back then, it was exactly. Like, and that's rompers. What, that's what we were saying, like man. Simple whatever for my sister, some culottes or something like that. Gotcha. But it wasn't <laughs> it, nothing that I was going to rock. Right. You know what I mean? So, I mean, I guess the, the, y'all done changed the game so yeah. that somebody can go and get a pattern like right. that and start doing it. But no, I, there weren't any patterns like that. So, it wasn't for me. It was just mm-hmm. alter this, alter that, change that. Yeah. You so, I mean? that's, that's an interesting point. So, if you would have had... If you if you went to the store with your mom and you saw dope patterns and like you saw a little bit more catering to fellas, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying, than they doing doing right now, do you think you might have maybe taken a Saturday and like, oh, let me figure out how to do this? Yeah, shirt. like I definitely would have picked it up because, like I said, like I I liked it when I was younger yeah. and I was kind of into it and I I like creating with my hands anyway. So had I seen a pattern, yeah, because to me a lot of a lot of what um, creating from that pattern is is like a puzzle, right? And it's like you you have the puzzle, you cut out all your pieces, and then you kind of put your pieces together. Mm-hmm. And 
you know, a lot of people still love puzzles. Yeah. And so had I had a puzzle that I could make into a 3D outfit yeah. when I was that age. You would have done it. Man, of course. Yeah, done it. yeah. That, was, like, well, that was a good way of explaining <laughs> that. That was like, great. Yeah, yeah man. Like it it would have been done. And so, yeah, because I didn't have that experience, I never, yeah, never thought to do that. It, that was a good. That was a good um, way to explain that. It's like a puzzle, and yeah. you're absolutely right. And and my way of explaining, I'll be telling guys like, especially especially letting them know, hey, it's it's nothing. You know, what I'm saying it's, it's 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 nothing feminine about sewing at all. Right. So like. Uh, if if you ask like, if if you ask any guys like it's it's kind of like construction almost yeah. you know what I'm saying like when I put on snaps and all that stuff I have to use my hammer and nail them down mm-hmm. and I have to, and the machine has a, like a needle like it ain't nothing to play with it's, oh, like, yeah, it's, no, the, it's, it's, a, it's machinery it's not a game you know what I'm saying like the thread to go through like you could you could get hurt so like mm-hmm. um, not saying that it's dangerous either I mean you can, you can learn without hurting yourself but, but don't it, let your it, kids do yeah it. yeah it is a machine you know what I'm saying so. Um, it is something that that makes you feel good, like you know what I'm saying, cutting the fabric, working with scissors, doing all mm-hmm. that stuff. And at the end, like you said, you have this 3D thing that you can wear. Right. And and once you get a, a couple of compliments, like hey man, nice shirt, you be like, oh, I'm good, like I made yeah, it. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate that. And they be like, yeah. where you get it from? You be like, oh, I made it. They be like, oh, what? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Having that feeling, that, man. That one of one. Yeah, absolutely, man. Um, I have a question. What is the hardest or most difficult fabric that you've ever used? Try to stay away from it or try to master it. Okay, who? who? So it probably because for me it okay. would be denim jeans. I stay away from them <laughs> altogether. I don't mess with jeans. I take them to Miss B if I need something done with some jeans. Hey, Miss B, if I get that work in, Ms. where Miss B located? Hey, Miss B is in McDonough, Georgia. Um, she is. Uh, what is she? I think she's Korean. Something okay. like that, but she, I think Miss B likes brothers. <laughs> Cause she, Why she, you say that? Hey, Miss B got a slang to her that I'm like, that's not, that's not Korean. <laughs> a little more flavor, yeah, huh? Yeah, Miss B got some flavor to her. <laughs> um, oh, uh, what's the, I would say fabric that's really delicate, and I don't run away from it if I have an idea. And that that's like the only fabric I see. I'm gonna use it, so I'm gonna just suck suck it up and just and just work with it. But like when it comes to like really really soft like uh, like see through fabrics, um, something like sheer, something like um, silk. silk. Oh my god! Like work with, even just cutting it out because mm-hmm. even with with my pattern weights and you still try to cut silk, it, it'll still slide on you. Yeah. So when I cut, I, I pin and around. It stretch a little bit too. It got some give too. Yeah. Well, some of them. Yeah. Some of them oh, do. Starch it. That's the secret. Yeah. She starts hers. Mm-hmm. Uh, for me, I just pin my pattern in all the corners, and it don't move because it's pinned down. Gotcha. And then I, you know, what I'm saying cut it out because I still cut with scissors. Mm-hmm. So, uh, so yeah. Any the harder the fabric, usually it's 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 kind of easier. Like denim, mm-hmm. I love working with denim. Really? Yeah. Just like just feeling it. You know, what I'm saying corduroy. Well, corduroy, corduroy, like um. It, it 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 fuzzes up, you know what I'm saying? Like it's said lace. Lace. <laughs> oh yeah, you, you, I don't know. Did you see what um he sold? She sold the show. Mm-hmm. On, on blue, on, that was on Blueprint. But anyway, and so we had to pick one fabric, right? Yeah. And we both had to make some from it. But every like she got to pick one. I got to pick one. She got to pick one. I got to pick one. And she picked lace. Okay. So I'm like, what, like what male menswear garment you seen is laced? Right. So I was just trying to figure, like, man, what am I make? So I end up making, uh, so I end up over, overlaying it with mm-hmm. uh, solid fabric, so you can't see my skin. When, <laughs> when I, like, yeah, nips out. yeah, you don't really see my nipples. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, so uh, I, I did that, and then I put a white collar on it, and made a made a button up shirt, and okay. it came out dope. I look okay. like a salsa dancer, uh, <laughs> but <laughs> but it was dope. That's what's up. That's what's yeah. Up. So uh, it's kind of cheating too, though. Right. Well, yeah. no, 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 no. Slightly cheap. You had to use that fabric, but you yeah, can, but you yeah, also could use other fabric. Kind of mm-hmm. You should have made a little see-through shirt with your nipples. Right, with, with the nips <laughs> out, bro. A, a drop shoulder, um, <laughs> drop shoulder V-neck. There you go. <laughs> um, Lady Nicholas says, my husband wants to learn how to make his own button-down shirt. Do you think he should start with a pullover since he's new to sewing, since he's never sewn anything? Absolutely, yes. Join Sewed Yes, yeah, join Sewed Academy, for one. 
And we're going to start here from the, from the get-go. The from first the the cor- first course is taking the sewing machine out of the box. <laughs> we teach you how to take it out of the box. <laughs> how to plug it up, how to thread and all that. How to practice, your, you know what I'm saying, your straight you stitch. you learn to thread, you're in there, though. Yeah. Um, and then learning how to, you know what I'm saying, do the, do the foot pedal. But if they drive me with driving license, you probably got practice on. You know what I'm saying, doing that. <laughs> More or less. Right. But did I answer the question? What was, what was the question, baby? If he should start with a, a pullover. Yeah. Well, I, well, oh, that's what I wanted to say. Probably not because it would be knit and that could be a little frustrating. Oh, knit. Really? Okay. Depending on the pullover. Um, my first project was just just a, um, a knit t-shirt. Mm-hmm. And I, I made another one. And then after that, I was like, okay, baby, I want to learn. I want to make a suit jacket. <laughs> from scratch? Yeah. You know, from a t-shirt to a whole... No, no, no. I wanted to. <laughs> no. I didn't oh, okay. say I did. Oh, okay. Oh. And she was like, Ooh. bruh. <laughs> relax. I think she said, bro. She was like, bro, <laughs> relax. You need to relax. And I'm glad I did relax because yeah. there was so much other stuff that I learned. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? So when I got to something like that, you're going to need all the, all the tools and techniques you you got to, uh, you know what I'm saying? To, do like to a master suit. that? Master it well enough for it to look right. Yeah. To look store-bought. You know what I'm saying? And have the right padding and stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, hair by T underscore air says, I, I will join. I learned a lot from watching you on YouTube. I really enjoy making Oh, that's what's up. What ask her what um what YouTube project she she learned? Oh, what what YouTube project he, he saw? Oh, he oh, he learned. Okay. Well, he listening to me. He he, he answered. <laughs> <laughs> I got her texting. <laughs> Julia said that he loved your tailoring courses because it took the guesswork out. Oh, Dang. nice. Ain't no eyeballing in those courses either. Yeah, <laughs> you know, I ain't, no eyeballing the work. I ain't gonna teach her to eyeball it. <laughs> uh, would you encourage young lawyers? Sew their own accessories. Do you think that that would help with OCI? What's that? OCI. That's what it said. Not OCD. Uh, maybe, and then it was maybe a typo. Might is that man. what you were trying to say? So, oh, her name is So Legal Chick. So Legal Chick. Yes. So, so yes, I would recommend that, especially. If you need that downtime as a as a young lawyer, your your brain's always going, and especially when you first get into the profession, um, if you're working for yourself or even if you're working for someone, they're gonna make sure they get it up out of you, like all of it out of you. So, like that calming and that source of zen that you need, nice. yeah, I think sewing is like a good outlet yeah. for for that. That's like I said, up. like I use knitting. Like when I was in law school, knitting was my thing, um, and sewing will help you save a lot of money, a lot of money, especially because you know when you're first coming out, you doing all right, but you got student loans, right? <laughs> and you gotta take care of those. On campus interviews. That's what you're oh. I for, look, I've been out the game, <laughs> the law school for so long, I forgot about the OCIs. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. I was, I'll tell you this. So I did do, um, um, I prosecuted for about five years before I started doing um, my personal injury, which is what I'm doing now. And while I was doing that, I worked as a, um, I was an apprentice um, coordinator. And so I, I did mock not mock interview but I interviewed a lot of people that were coming out of law school that were trying to get jobs and the first thing I noticed was what they had on and mm. what they were wearing and if it was something that was going to be unique okay. and then after that first impression is what can you bring to the table what are you offering I'm already seeing your resume gotcha. right but it's like how are you going to connect after that point but yeah that was my first thing that I looked at was how you were put together okay and that included your outfit so yeah i and i tastefully would try to compliment people when they were doing that or you know after the interview i like those shoes or um you did your thing with that or whatever blah 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 okay but yeah yeah yeah. i definitely recommend if there's anything you can do to set yourself apart in those ocis um the first thing they're going to look at is what you got on yeah, and learn how to sew or uh, just put you that much further with oh, your yeah. own. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It'll make it more unique. It's just a little pocket square. A pocket square is easy yeah, to make. You know what I'm saying? Cut a square. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Hem the size, and you're pretty much done. And you're in there. Yeah. But, yeah, I would definitely do that. Uh, 
Um, he said he had watched your copying of a t-shirt. Oh, okay. And had taken your jeans. Oh, okay. Nice. Yeah. Um, oh, do, do you, um, did you tell him what, what type of law you did? Oh, so now, I, want, I want you to put your professional bit okay, on that too, right, because so if I have any <laughs> legal questions, you know, say you can get in contact with them. Anyway, we can put my phone number at the, at the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> so no, so I practice. Um, I guess we didn't really do that much of an intro, so I didn't do it. Um, so I, I spent, like I said, the five years as a prosecutor, um, doing all, of course, one hundred percent criminal cases. Um, and that's what kind of led me to sewing as well, because as a prosecutor, you're doing good for the community, mm -hmm. but you're not really making the money that your friends are making, gotcha. right? And what everybody else is doing, but you're getting that experience or whatever. And so I spent my four or five years um, prosecuting, and then I went to a uh, civil defense for an, uh, for an insurance company, and it was hell. Like I was in trial once like to twice a week. It oh, was wow. crazy. And so I, I I went from loving to be in a courtroom to hating it because I was in the courtroom so long. Wow. And so it, it got to a point where um, like I'm a single parent. And so my son, a lot of times when I was at court, he would be at my parents' house. Oh, okay. Or he'd have to, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like I'd have to send him over there because I'm handling court or whatever. And it was like one time. One week came, or no, it was like I had like six trials in like three weeks or something. Like it was something ridiculous. Crazy. And he came to me. He was like, "Am I gonna see you next week or something like that?" And I was like, "Oh, I gotta change I gotta, something. Yeah, I can't oh, keep doing damn. this." And so that's when yeah. I switched over from doing that civil defense to the plaintiff side. Um, and I'm I wouldn't look back. It's the best decision I ever made. Oh wow. Um, I do personal injury. Um, some workers' comp cases. Um, hey, my need workers' comp right about now, yeah, too. Yeah, you need that workers' comp. Yeah, what um, else? <laughs> anything happening, like, uh, with any kind of personal injury, accident cases, slip and falls, um, give me a call. 404-583-3960. Mike yeah. Jones. Baby, type this number. <laughs> type this number in the... Um, in the but, yeah, give me a call. Uh, so, so what's that? Put it on there again. Four 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 five eight three five eight three nine six zero three nine six zero. I one call. That's all. I, I will <laughs> answer the phone. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> you can text me. Got you. I will text you back. Okay. Yeah, but nah. So you do Zoom. You do Zoom meetings. Do, do Zoom meetings right now. Okay. Yeah, Zoom calls. For those that don't want to meet in person, be sanitized look, too. We could do coffee over Zoom, lunch, whatever. Oh, that's dope. Coffee over would, Zoom. You tell yeah. them to go make a coffee, I, look, and I got, got one. Your, you got your cup. I got my cup. <laughs> that's lit, we, baby. We, we chop it up. Yeah. See what's going on. And then you feel like I made you a cup. <laughs> That's there what's up. Go. There we go. Oh man, that's what's up. So yeah, um, that's what I practice now. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So if, if they got any any like questions like like if, if they got like, any not real personal <laughs> legal. <laughs> yeah. Not all right. No 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 like <laughs> not too much detail, but just like who that is. Oh okay. Um, yeah. If, if you got any in, any questions related around um, anything going on any, with yeah society and the world right now i got a few opinions on those <laughs> somebody asked um i often have a lot of ideas to where i get physically stuck and can't sew how do you handle when you're over uh, overwhelmed with great oh ideas? okay we go through that a lot yeah. right baby mm -hmm. me and the wife go through that all the time the best thing to do is especially if you've been sewing for a minute and you just get stuck you know, it's, it's one garment that you love and that's easy to make. Whatever your favorite, like, whatever your favorite pattern is or your easy pattern is, take it, um, get some fabric, and try to make that because it's something that you don't really have to think about. Um, you already know how it's going to fit because you have made it a few times or you made it before. And uh, that should get your, your mojo going a little bit, you know what I'm saying? So once you, once you knock out something that you know and it's easy and you're going to be happy with, it'll get you going. And um, that, that's basically how I go. I mean, that's the worst. That's what works for me and the wife. And that work that that what works for you too, baby. Yeah, I just start sewing something I don't have to think about. It. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So just sewing something easy. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so I have a question for you, honey. 
Any advice on styling or putting together an outfit? The stuff I've sewn ends up looking like a 70s dad. <laughs> but when I see your stuff, Norris, it has a cool vibe. Oh, yeah, it you just got feels <laughs> different. You got to swag got, it out. You got that cool 70s and, dad. And you know what? I love 70s, 60s, <laughs> all that. If you look at what I sew, a majority of my stuff is, or all vintage patterns. Only I can't even find one right now. But I, I have a stack of uh, vintage patterns. And um, I don't really shop the catalogs anymore because ain't really that much for us at mm -hmm. this moment. I mean, we changing it, but at this moment, there's not that much for us. Uh, but you can go look at some of my patterns and see if you like them. I, I got some heat. Um, so what do you do with those? Like, do you sew the pattern as they have it and then tailor it? So after that point, or it, how do you, it depends? How do you do it that? depends on the style. You so you see that polo shirt over there, right? You see that fat collar. Mm -hmm. That's that's that old, you know, what I'm saying that old vintage style. But I just left it because I, I like I like I like the look of it, mm -hmm. and it has a modern fit to it too. Right. But like you said, some of the ones that like like bat, like like bell bottoms or whatever it is, and I want to alter them. Um, yeah, you just have to, you know, say alter them right before you cut your fabric and stuff like that. Right, right. But I would probably make a muslin, which is just cheap fabric, just to see how they're going to fit before mm -hmm. you cut into your good fabric. Gotcha. Yeah. You got five minutes, honey. Um, five minutes. I know that was, question. you up on the lingo, I didn't know that that was called a muslin. Yeah. Okay. I call it, I don't really want this <laughs> So I'm going to try it on this <laughs> first. <laughs> and then, and then, if it fits, then I'm going to try it on this one right here. Yeah, bro. That's, that's your sample. The muslin. Your muslin. Yeah. M-U-S-L-I-N. <laughs> Add that to your vocabulary books. <laughs> yeah, silly. Um, I think it's Dale Zachary. Not sure. Finding patterns for men is so challenging. Do you have suggestions to find patterns for men? Um doing a, a bunch of vintage shopping yeah. um well also you like back then i guess they made a, like a lot of i guess slimmer you more european cuts yeah. for for the fellas so you and, and also a lot of sizes ain't in one pattern they made one size per in a per, per per package so you don't have like a a bunch of pat a bunch of sizes that you can get measurements from so before you purchase them, you just have to, if they took a picture of the back of the, um, of the um, pattern, you can zoom in and see the size chart, measure yourself, and look at that um, also finish. So if you do all that, you'll be able to, you know what I'm saying, shop vintage, which is the most successful because more men sold in, and I think what, like 75% of all um, teenagers sold back then because of home ec. Hmm. You know what I'm saying, they had cooking and they had sewing in schools. You know what I'm saying? Me and wifey want to get sewing back in school just yeah, like it was back then. Back. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Bring that back, change the name, sewing design, or right. you know what I'm saying? make it sound cool, like men's yeah. fashion or, or, or fashion wear. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I think the cool, I think the kids would, would, would gravitate to it because they, they already creating their own stuff. Yeah, that's the thing I like about this generation is yeah. they, they're always creating. Um, and it starts even at a younger age where they're creating it. Um, my girl's daughter, like she'll take Barbie dolls, like we'll be sitting at a restaurant or whatever, and she'll take her Barbie doll out, grab a napkin, and just make a dress. Oh, for real? Of, yeah, like, and it'll be like, I wish I could show y'all pictures. Like, Immaculate. Yeah, mate, like, you see, like, it's ready for the runway. Oh, like, dang. Yeah, like, she, these kids are very impressive. Yeah. They're it, very impressive. See, so, so if, if she had an option right. to sew to sew it and design while she like in school, she would probably she do would it. Definitely do you that. Know? Yeah. It wouldn't even need to go to college. Yeah. And also for a lot of the fellas too. Yeah. You know, because I, I know if I had the option I knew I would have done it. Would you? Yeah, absolutely. I actually I, I mean a lot of people don't know. I didn't I didn't my first option wasn't going to Savannah State. Mm -hmm. My first option, I wanted to go to a fashion school. Oh, really? Yeah, but I didn't know, I didn't know too many guys that did it. And yeah. I couldn't ask nobody of how it was or reach out to nobody. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I was like, you know what? I just go for business because I knew business. I was good with numbers. Gotcha. But then I ended up actually, you know what I'm saying, being in the same industry that I, I, I so wanted to be in from the get-go. Mm -hmm. so, so yeah, man. So it that, called you back. Yeah, man. So like having exposure to that, you know, if I would have seen it growing up, mm -hmm. I would probably have changed. I probably had even more confidence. Mm -hmm. So, so yeah, man, the exposure is very important, and that's why we have to keep this going. We have to share. Um, I want to, I want to like do like a Facebook group or something like that, baby. Maybe you know, what I'm saying start it, and then let you know, what I'm saying all the fellas knowing, hey, this is one place where we at. You can post pictures and stuff you're making, or 
If you have any questions, hey, I need that vintage pattern. Where did you find it? Right, you know what I'm right. saying? Because the women do it. It's so many women sewing yeah, groups. Yeah, do it. I, I got a, a couple homegirls that'll just, they'll post their stuff. and See? Only people I know is you, John, and... <laughs> Exactly. B, Brian, that's it. <laughs> yeah, man. So uh, we're we going to grow it. We're going to make it stronger. Um, anything you want to say before I close out, baby? Mm -hmm, okay. Anything you want to close out before you? Yeah, 404-583-3960. <laughs> All right. Well, Steve, my brother, appreciate you coming through, man. All love. I learned a lot All from love. you, bro. Uh, cool love. story. Uh, we're going to get you right, man. We were definitely going to get you right. Um, mm -hmm. I appreciate everybody watching Dope Man So, and we will see you at the next one. Holla, holla. All right, baby. So I need you to come download this before, <laughs> before I mess it lost. up. Exactly. I'm glad you cut that fan on. Boy. <laughs>